my channel. This is Rachel. Um, if you are new here, welcome. I do mostly unboxings of, of beauty boxes, but I also do makeup reviews and lifestyle and a few other things. Anyway, um, I'm taping this early. I was planning to tape this tomorrow and upload it the same day. And I came in to play with some makeup because, well, you know, that's what I do when I put the kids to bed. And I just felt like going ahead and taping it. I didn't complete my eye look completely. I'm having some difficulty. And let me find the palette for you guys. I've been playing with this palette. I will do a full review. In fact, I think I may get an extra video out or two next week just because I have so many things I want to go over, including the ColourPop uh, green palette, which should be coming in tomorrow. Um, but I have been playing and playing and playing with this palette. It is... I got some thoughts on it. Um, but anyway, I wanted to play with it. I didn't put any mascara on. I literally just put on the palette. Um, anyway, so, and then I decided, you know what? Let's tape this. So, this is Boxy Luxe. So, Boxy Charm is a 21 a month monthly subscription. Every third month or on a quarterly basis, they allow those that are already prescribed prescribed, subscribed to Boxy Charm to go ahead and upgrade to what's called Boxy Lux. That is an additional, uh, I think $20. Now I buy my Boxy Charm on a three month subscription basis. So I think my box is like 19 something. And then they uh, additionally charge me the additional 20, whatever, $28 or whatever it is every quarter for this. You are allowed to skip or downgrade at any point this to go back to the regular. Um, I will link somewhere, either above or below, last quarter's boxy look, which was my first one, and it was freaking amazing. Um, like I said, I had some thoughts about this one. I got some additional information today, and so I thought, hey, let's go over this one today. Um, if I have time, I will try to do a little trial of some of the makeup in here. Um, but let's dive into it. Uh, deals of the month. Ooh, hold on, pause. I'm gonna come right back. Okay, so I like to at least spend like a minute or two of every video. If you don't like this, you can scooch on forward about two minutes. Um, going over deals that I see currently or news or anything about beauty before I dive into the box. Um, I didn't get a chance to do a lot of that today because we tried to go hiking. We went to a place called Enchanted Rock, if you guys have heard of that. It's in the hill country in Texas. We drove like an hour and a half to get there, only to find out that it was completely full, and now they take reservations. So note, if you ever go to Enchanted Rock State Park in Texas, make sure you make a reservation. So uh, we ended up picking up wine shipments at the wineries there that I have wine shipments to, and um, having some lunch out, and then coming home, and then walking my neighborhood. But I got my Ulta catalog. I think I got this like a day ago. And I did talk about this in my last video. Uh, the uh, Ulta is doing the 21 Days of Beauty. Starts March 17th. So I believe that is Sunday. And they have all the different ones of note. Um, this palette is going on sale on March 18th. The Dose of Color. If I can get to it, I'll try to do a quick little look or that with that palette. I bought this on the last deal. Um, other than that, the only other thing that is kind of interesting to me is the Lend Crime palettes are, some of them are going on sale, but yeah, there's a bunch of stuff here. And then there was one other thing in here that I thought was interesting and then we'll get into the box. Um, I think Ulta made a boo-boo, uh, and I think a lot of people have been saying this on Instagram, but do you see this? <laughs> Ulta talked about the Villains ColourPop palette, which... It's the only place I've seen this, obviously, on Instagram, everyone's posting this. I don't think they were supposed to release this yet because this palette is not released. But this looks amazing. This is like the companion palette to the uh, Princess palette, which I absolutely adore. I never did a review on it. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. I, like I said, I absolutely adore that palette. It's still available. But look at that palette. I am super excited. That is going to be $22. So... All right, I digress enough. Let's get into the box. So I actually really didn't get much into my products because I opened this up and I was sadly a little upset about something and I'll get into that a little bit more. Um, so as always, they say uh, boxy charm on there and then they have the card on top. 
And so this says La Vie in Rose, and then it has like all your prices in here, which I'm gonna keep down below. Um, so we're just gonna kind of quickly go over the products. I feel like there have been 20 bazillion um, openings on this box. Um, I did notice that my eyeshadow palette is a slightly different than a lot of the ones I'm seeing. So um, I think that is of note to be interesting. That's why I wanted to do a quick look with it if I had the time. So the first thing is a box or a bag. It's like my, ooh, they have this like paper all over it and it's sticking to my bag, like all over my bag. Well, that's highly disappointing. Oh my goodness. This is not gonna be my boxy look. I can already tell you guys. I don't know if my box got too hot or what. I'm sure this will come off with a uh, wet washcloth, but that's kind of annoying. Like, did anyone else's paper do this? I mean, legitimately, look at it. It's just sticking all, all over this. Well, that's frustrating. If I can even get it off here. Well, that's what my thing looks like. It's got little pieces of paper all over it stuck to it. I'm gonna have to take a wet washcloth and try to clean that up a little bit. Let me see, actually, I've got a dirty makeup wipe here. Let me see if this cleans off pretty easily. Um, I'm sure this was meant to protect it from sticking to itself. Yeah, it does, it comes off. It's just annoying that I have to clean that off. That's just kinda, you know, it's not, Hmm. Sorry, I'm getting really, really digressive. All right, so that's what it looks like, uh, aside from the stuff sticking on it. And inside, it says BoxyCharm. Now, I already have a thought for what I'm gonna use this for. I have this one that I keep some of my makeup on. This is for my Fat Fit Fun. This is the Yum Yumi Kim one, which is super adorable and has that top part. This one is just a more simplified version. It does not have that, but I need a, a new bag to hold like my nail polishes and stuff because the one I have currently is too small. So I'm gonna use that for this. So it is useful for me. All right, next product in here. This is why I'm disappointed when I open this up. So everybody have been getting emails about a mix up or their um, shipment being delayed. My shipment was not delayed. It was, it was shipped pretty quickly. And I never got an email that said that I had gotten the wrong palette and I had double checked. I had done my um, profile and I put the correct thing that I'm a redhead with fair skin, yada, 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 right? So I get my palette here and I open it up and it's the wrong one. And, and I was so excited to try this product. This is the Cover FX Perfector Face Palette and they sent me the medium and deep. I did send them an email because everybody else had been getting emails saying, sorry for the mix up, unfortunately we're out of this palette. So we're gonna give you 4,500 charms, which is equivalent to a $45 product from the charm store. So I was like, okay. So I sent them an email and I got a response today and it, it's, I'm waiting for the final, final response because the response today wasn't the best. The response today was, we're sorry that you had this mix up. We're gonna put our analyst in charge to see what we can do. Cause what I basically wrote is said, hey, I did my profile. I got the wrong one. I got the deep medium. My profile very much says I'm fair. You know, I, my preference would be to get the correct palette. However, you know, I understand that that may not be possible. What can we do to amenate or make this better? So I'm waiting for the final response. Okay guys, back to you. It seems a little lame. I, I would have been fine with the response of getting the charms. If I don't get it, I am seriously going to rethink what I'm gonna do about this box because I truly think customer service is very important. I'm hoping they're just inundated with this glitch because apparently this was a glitch and a lot of people have this problem so that they're trying to figure out what to do. Um, and maybe, just maybe this means I'll get the correct palette. But I'm not gonna swatch or use this palette because I just, like, I guess I could use some of it as eyeshadows and other things, 
but I'm going to put this in a giveaway or give it to someone who can use it that is has a lovely skin tone that can pull this off unlike my ghostly pale skin tone. <laughs> and um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully I'll get some sort of like thing to compensate me for it. We'll see. All right, next product here is the Lily Lashes. Um, I'm not a big fan of lashes, but I have a whole set of them and I wanna try them out. So not the end of the world. Uh, oh, before we get into it, the um, the bag, let's see, we'll go over here real quick. The train case is supposed to be $20. The cover FX palette was 45. That was gonna be basically the cost of the um, box, which obviously I can't use. I am gonna use the train case. The Lily Lashes are $24.99. Um, I'm gonna keep these and try these because they look nice. I've heard great things about them and I kind of want to play with lashes at some point. All right, next thing here is from a company I really do like. This is Wonder Beauty, the Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. I am excited about this. Um, let's open it up and see what it looks like. It's got that like rose gold color. It smells really clean and nice. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand here. Come on. All right. Ooh, it's really pretty. Not that face masks have to be pretty, but it's kind of like a pretty rose gold color. Gold color. So I'm going to leave that on my hand and let it dry, and then maybe at the end we can pull it off. But uh, this is um, at $34. So between the train case and this, I've already gotten my money's worth. So that's okay. All right. Next thing in here is the Moda Power powder and soft glow brushes. I have not really heard of Moda that much, but from what I've been seeing, everyone's been saying, this is a um, brand that you can buy in like the drugstore, which I have no problem with. I love many, many drugstore products and I think it's good to get a variety. Um, so let me open this up. I love brushes. You can't really go wrong with it. And show you guys what these brushes look like. My gosh, so much plastic. <laughs> All right, oof, okay. This is the highlighter brush. Ooh, I'd heard it was a little flimsy. This is a little flimsy. And then this is the face powder brush, which I really do like. So I'm gonna have to try this. My current favorite highlighting brush is this one, which is a little bit stiffer and not quite as loose. So we'll see, I'll have to play with this. This also might be good instead of a highlighter to just like whisk away powder under your eyes because I don't do a lot of powder. Um, but these feel really nice. They're very pretty. They're this rose gold color. And these are valued at $29.99. And I think I heard somewhere that this rose gold color was specifically for them, but I could be wrong. All right, next product here is the Iconic London Eyebrow Cushion. I am excited to try this. Now, I thought they were customizing this to the eyebrow color, um, and obviously I have a hard time getting eyebrow stuff customized to me since I'm a redhead. Um, my hair isn't quite as vividly red as when I was younger. It's gotten darker as I've gotten older. But what I first noticed, it was the color medium. I usually tend to get brow products, if I get them at all, in light, because um, blonde ones tend to work a little bit better for me. However, in reviewing, I don't think anyone got any other color but medium. Um, so this is kind of cool because it has the mirror and then I, um, it's sealed. I kind of peeked in it earlier. So, and then it has this little brush doohickey thing here with a little spoolie on one side and a little angled. I'm just going to, Ooh, that's really cool. It's really wet. So when I dipped in there, I dipped into the lighter color. It's, it's like wet and I'm just going to tap that in. So that's the color. So definitely that's probably the darkest I can go. And then let's try to see what this darker color looks like. So I got a little bit on there. That's the darker color. I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull off the darker color, but the lighter color I might be able to pull off. So I will definitely give that a whirl. I don't have a lot of eyebrow products, so I'm always open to trying new ones. This is really cute though. And it does have a mirror. I'm not gonna take the little cover off now, but I am excited about this. This is actually quite expensive. This is, let's see, um, $40. So already I'm like well past my worth. 
on this box, even without the cover FX being right. Um, so as disappointed as I am, it's not too bad. But I have some other iconic London products. I've kind of had mixed reviews on them. So I'm gonna see how this works. It does dry down pretty quickly though. Let's see, that mask is still a little gummy on my hand. All right, next product here is, if I have time, I'm gonna try this out. This is the 15H Happy Hour Eyeshadow Palette by Morphe. I actually don't own any Morphe palettes, believe it or not. Um, I've just not been interested in any, except for maybe the Jaclyn Hill one, and I just haven't gotten around to buying it. That came out well before I got back into makeup again. And so it's like, I have so many other palettes, I just haven't had this huge desire to buy it. This apparently is their newer packaging, which I don't know what their older packaging felt like, um, but I heard it's more cardboardy. This feels very sturdy and nice. It actually kind of reminds me of, let me see if I have it here. Oh, I had it somewhere, oh yeah. This, which is their highlighter packaging. So it's the same packaging, that kind of heavier, sturdier packaging. I do like their highlighters that I've tried. So I am very hopeful. And now I was okay to get any of the different palettes. I think there were four or five variations. Yeah, yeah, I think there were four variations. And interestingly enough, I know in the past, some of the, the issues with the Morphe palettes is they don't put the names on the palette, but look at this. They actually have the names under the shades, which is really cool. This is, like I said, the Happy Hour palette. There's the Brunch Babe palette, which is more pinky, which is the one I think I was most excited to potentially get. And then there was the Night Slayer and the Day Slayer, which I wasn't really interested in either one. Um, this one is definitely more on the coppery, reddish, kind of maybe a little bit of mauve tone, but I actually really see myself using this quite a bit because I actually like coppery colors. So if you can see here, they're not as dramatically orange as you were gonna think. They're kind of really pretty actually. So I am very, very excited to use that. And like I said, I don't know, I think I'm gonna run out of time today to do this. So I may have to do a video another day on this because I'm looking at my, my timer here. And I only have about 25 minutes worth of video time. So I'm probably not gonna have time to get into it. But this is absolutely freaking gorgeous. Um, and I am excited to try it out. It'll see if it'll make me want to buy any more Morphe stuff or not, because I've heard mixed reviews about Morphe. So this is this is their chance to impress me. This is only worth $16, but their palettes are not known to be very expensive. All right, next item here is supposed to be the coup de gras of the box, which I am excited. I have tried this cream before in sample sizes, and I did quite like it. It's in it confidence in a cream um, cream here and this is a full size. This stuff is a pricey. It is very thick so if I remember correctly it's been a while since I used it. Yeah that's what it looks like. I'm just gonna take a little bit here. Yeah it just has like a nice soapy scent and put a little bit here. It does go in quite nicely. I remember it making my skin feel very, very nicely. So this is a really nice packaging. The jar is glass. It's very heavy feeling. Um, I'm all for any anti-aging type products. And this is two fluid ounces. This will last you a good long time. So this is a really, really nice product. That one is $48. This alone is basically your box's price. So um, I knew no matter what I was gonna get, this was gonna be helpful. All right, moving on here. This, I had meant to try a couple of these on. My daughter and I were gonna do our nails, but this is the Deborah Lipman um, Odonna and Modern Love Nail Polish, which when you see the previews, it looks really kind of like poopy brown but in person it's a lot prettier um actually even on the video it's not too horrible this is like a light kind of mauvey pinkish and then this looks more brown on the screen but it actually is pink with like this golden sparkle so i'm just going to paint a little bit on my nail to give you guys a look here like this is almost like a dusty pink it's quite pretty and then let me put, so that's what the, um, which one is this? Modern Love looks like, that's the mauve pink one. 
and then the one with the brown shimmer. Oh, this is way prettier in person on the nail than in the bottle. Like, I don't know if I'd wear this on my fingernails, but on my toenails, this is really pretty. It has definitely got like a brownie color to it. Again, it doesn't translate well on the camera, but it's like a like a really dark brownie pink with sparkles in it. It does not look pretty on the camera. It almost looks a little brown. Like I look like I have poop on my fingernails, but in person it's actually quite pretty. I do like it and I'll use it. So um, they are quite expensive um, and they're little tiny bottles, but I'm okay with that. And these are $20 and I believe it. Um, I'm trying to think if I have any Deborah Lippman stuff and I don't. Anyway. That's that's what that looks like. This one is super pretty. This one doesn't translate as well on the camera, but I do like it. All right, final product here. I don't know how I feel about this, so I figured I'd try this on for you guys. Let me take off my lip gloss here. Uh, I'm not gonna have time to do the, the video of the, um, the palette. We'll have to do that another time. If you guys are interested in that, I have a whole like slew of palettes I need to go over and do looks with. Maybe I'll do that in a, like a getting ready with me. So this is the Becca Ultimate Lipstick Love. And I got the color Poppy. Again, I don't think they followed my profile because I tend to like mauves, nudes, and pinks. And this is, well, it is pink, but it's like an orangey pink. Um, the closure is really nice. It's magnetic. And it is a bullet lipstick, but you can see, I mean, it looks more orange on camera than it is in person, but I'm willing to give it a good try. Oh, please don't be orange. That's what it looks like. Ooh, let's see. Let's see if this looks good on me or not. I'm going to pull out a mirror here. Don't laugh at me if it looks bad. Oh, it's orange. I don't know. I had such a pretty, like, neutrally mauve shade. It's orange. I don't think this is my color. <laughs> Actually, surprisingly, it doesn't look as bad as I thought it would be, but this is not my color. Um, the lipstick itself feels very nice. I think in the right person, this color would be really beautiful. Maybe with the right look I could pull it off, but this is definitely not my shade that I would go for. And it definitely doesn't go my eye look because I've got that like purpley pinky vibe. This this lip color is not doing it for me. So this is $24. So total, the, the whole box, even with the mix up, is well worth it. Um, definitely not as exciting or as good as my last one we'll say that there like the lipstick color doesn't work for me the the face palette doesn't work for me so I've got two products right off the bat that really just don't work for me and so that is a little depressing so anyway guys I will come back I'm gonna upload this uh for Saturday no 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 Thursday and then I'll be back Saturday maybe Sunday and maybe Monday we'll see anyway I will talk to you guys later please uh give me a thumbs up share and leave me comments what did you think of this box and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Real quick, I forgot to peel off the mask. Ah, peels off pretty good. All right, thanks guys, bye.